ladies and gentlemen we are live good evening from london how's it going uh for those of you that don't know me my name is alf uh aka alf pl my new youtube channel name um and i am here to go through what has been a insane prem day absolutely insane so i want to thank everyone for being here we're going to be going through some tweets we're going to be looking at my team uh working towards free hit 34 uh, which is quite exciting and yeah it should be a pretty good time it's just going to be a little bit of a check-in a little bit of a check-in with the community i'm gonna put my headphones on because i want to play some music in the background Fantastic. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird is moderating this evening. Hello, Ken. Good to see you, sir. I salute you. Um, so a little bit of a story here. Um, this is a new channel, but this isn't my first kind of FPL live show. I was doing them quite a bit um, under the wildcard FPL banner, and this is now my kind of like solo channel. So uh, mostly doing these FPL live shows after match days. I might just go live like when I can. Um, maybe it could be a Tuesday night after a Prem day. It could be a Sunday. We'll see. It's just kind of casual, but really it's just kind of go through Twitter and look at some uh, some banger tweets from the game from the game week. Um, and yeah, the reason why this is all happening, uh, it's worth noting, is that I have just had a son. So this is my son, Arthur, who is now seven weeks old um so i've had a bit of a hiatus for about eight weeks all in uh from kind of doing fpl live shows uh, but this really is for him you know in the future hopefully he'll watch this back and he'll be like ah that's where it all started so this is the first fpl live show um which is kind of dedicated to my son arthur which is which is quite nice um but yeah if you are listening to this arthur in the future hello son <laughs> <laughs> crazy um but yeah as i said the the main purpose of this is to celebrate the uh, incredible fpl community uh, that we have um go through some tweets have a bit of a debrief um so let's do that so i've bookmarked the format is a bunch bookmarked a bunch of tweets from today uh, that i like the look of some of them are the um the usual suspects like fpl marcin and bateman and uh zakaria and uh, PZ and all those guys um, so uh, yeah we're going to be going through some tweets and also just kind of like looking at what people are talking about right now Man, Man United just drew 2-2 two 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 to Bournemouth Solanke scored fantastic for me I was a bit worried about Isaac killing me this week um, uh, but uh, yeah so that literally just finished um, was it a pen I'm not so sure I don't know um, it was outside the box but kind of went into it but it could have been a pen for sure um, so let's jump into it today. So yeah, really, um, by the way, this is my Twitter account and we are live on Twitter as well. So hello to anyone who's listening on Twitter. Great to have you here. If you fancied it, just pop over to YouTube, hit subscribe. That'd be great. I have 15 subscribers at the moment <laughs> and some of them from, uh, from way back when I was even doing any FPL content. So, um, if any of you fancied subscribing, please do. That'd be great. Helps me a lot. Um, and yeah, we'll see here. So I've got my Twitter page on the right hand side of the screen. Ken's uh, Ken's been doing his thing, which is fantastic. And then if we go to bookmarks here, this is what I've been working on today. So let's scroll to the bottom, shall we, and get into it. In fact, I'm thinking maybe a good... Let's first off, just so we're doing things most currently, let's... And by the way, if anyone wants to send me their teams on Twitter, I'll bring it up on screen and we can chat about what the situation is um, with your team and try and help each other out a bit on, on what the plan is. So yeah, free hits are obviously a big topic of conversation at the moment. Um, Ken, Mr. Bird, who is moderating the chat, very much uh, advised me to hold my free hit. I was planning to do it free hit 29. Thank God I didn't. So thank you for that, sir. <laughs> um, and... Uh, and yeah, so this is going to be big for the next couple of days. Um, Prop Joe, straight up. Love this guy. He has a free hit team right here. 
let's take let's have a look into it so pickford in goal yeah good stuff this is decent i think a lot of teams are going to look like this uh captain salad is the obvious choice i quite like Eze. look at that west ham newcastle perhaps as a captaincy choice but salad's the safe option right Fulham away, Everton away. They're not easy fixtures. But I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to just bring that onto mine as well. Uh, love this. Love this free hit. Yeah, that's good stuff. Ken, um, if you wanted to send me what you're thinking in terms of free hit, we can bring that up on screen. If I don't know if you've given any thought to it yet, but... Um, I actually made a free hit team a couple of weeks ago as well. Just whilst we're on that subject, let's uh, let's do that. Um, so if I just scroll down a bit, excuse the scrolling. It's coming up very soon. Here we go. I think this is it. Okay, yeah. So this is what I'm thinking for my th free hit 34 team. And as you can see here, so 100% rating for the game week, pretty good. Eight Nori, I'm not too sure about him actually currently. Um, I think he might be injured, so that is a bit of a concern. So we've got to keep an eye out. Gabriel as well, will he play tomorrow? We're not quite sure. So this might change a little bit, but um, let's just get into it. So Henderson, I think, is a good shout. He's actually the mo the highest rated goalkeeper for game week 34. Uh, so West Ham, Newcastle, love that. I think that will probably stay the same. Gabriel, as I mentioned, Eight Nori, not so sure. Virgil is a bit of an obvious one to keep. Um, I think that, that makes sense. And then, yeah, I've got Kempsey on Salah at the moment. Eze, we spoke about a minute ago. Uh, this is Diaz, uh, Saka, and Havertz. So, you know, I think this might change a little bit. I'm wondering if I do maybe get in Odegaard. That might be a good shout from an Arsenal perspective. Um, and then Cunha. Cunha's had an absolute masterclass today. And then Solanke, just a obvious pick and then a pretty decent bench so maybe I'll play my Mateta for someone but I don't really know who as you can see Mateta is still ranked below the players that I've got in my team um, so yeah that might change but that's kind of where my head's at with it in terms of free hit at the moment so it will change a little bit um, and I'll probably hit that free hit button tonight so yeah looking forward to it kept my free hit i've got my wild card intact as well again shout out to ken mr bird for advising me on that i think that was a really good shout especially given that game week 29 was an absolute travesty of a game week um i did a minus four for no i think it was a minus eight for that game week and i'm really annoyed about it i took foden out and ken i don't know if you remember but i did say to you in those messages if i take them out i'm invariably gonna have to bring them all back in and I wish I just kind of listened to myself a little bit because I took Foden out and then he went and had an absolute banger like two game weeks ago. So uh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but it is all good. Um, okay. Got a notification. Yes, Ken. Tentative free hit team. Ken, you ledge. Okay, so this is live and direct. Um, this is what Ken's thinking. This is obviously the full squad. So you're thinking of keeping Haaland. I like that. Would you play Haaland? That is the question. And you did mention um, in our messages, you did say that you were thinking about some players that weren't double game weeking, right? So um, Haaland, uh, uh, it looks like um, that's where your head's at. Who's that Sergio? Sorry, why can't I see that? Sergio Gomez. What are you thinking about Sergio Gomez? What's the deal there? I'm going to my fixtures now. Let's have a look at this. It's just, I might have it wrong. 34, game week 34. Man City. Okay, so Man City don't have a double game week, right? Am I crazy? Um, but also Sergio Gomez. I'm intrigued as to that pick, but maybe it's a, maybe it's a mistake or something. Um, that's sick. Love that. So, yeah, I mean, our teams are quite similar. It looks like you've taken out eight Nori and then Gabriel again. We'll see tomorrow. So, all good stuff. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to tackling that. Um, lots of people have already um, hit the button, uh, which is cool. Um, 
Okay, so Ken's saying, have not decided on free hit team yet. Tempted to go all out Arsenal Liverpool attack. Yeah, exactly. Go in Haaland and Watkins because of mini league rival. Sergio Gomez, just a placeholder for now. Right, so it shows you it might just be, is it just to save a bit of money or something? So you can have Haaland and Salah and the like, right? You won't play him, I suspect. That makes sense. Um, all right, let's have a look. FPL whiskey. Okay, let's get in some bookmark tweets because that is the point of this. So we'll go from the bottom because um, this is sort of how it played out today. Um, in fact, wait, sorry, I keep, I always do this. Let's just have a look at some more FPL. So top, so this is should be quite, Leia, she's great. Um, this should be quite um, current. So yeah, this was two minutes ago from Leia. Um, I was supposed to go to her fun run, 10K, but I've uh, done my shoulder in, so I wasn't able to make it in Bristol. Um, I thought Idris Elba was doing some FPL stuff then, but that is a promoted tweet. First off the bench for me, who's coming off for you? That's a shame, look at that. Yeah, I got rid of Porro a couple of weeks ago, and I'm glad I did, because the Tottenham had just been very poor recently. Sankey Knight for the planet overruled. Yeah. Lucky boy. Marcin, uh, Mar Mar Marcin, um, Slanky saved me a little bit today. He's just such a good player. So cheap. So worth it. Uh, but yeah, that, that annoyed me. I thought I was looking for Slanky. Because I, I stepped away to check on my family. And um, I, I came back and they'd, they were looking at the penalty. And I couldn't see Slanky on the pitch. And I saw him hobbling around earlier. So I was wondering if he got subbed off. For, but perhaps he, he did stay on. Uh, Manchester United's luck this season has been absolutely extraordinary. It is probably good for other clubs in the long term, though. If anyone that tells you the league table doesn't lie, they are talking nonsense sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. They are. They shouldn't be seventh. They do not deserve it. I reckon Man United are probably going to finish um, like seventh, eighth, ninth. Um, maybe even tenth. Just been terrible. They don't deserve it at all. So poor. So, so poor. Um, it's actually quite funny. Um, on a green hour of nine players left. That's crazy scenes. Marston is killing it. 51 minus four so far. Five still to play. How about you? Yeah, I've not had a very good game week so far. I'm going to bring my team up. Um, so let me tell you how this all went down today. I had two free transfers coming into the game week, and I was on the Raptors deadline stream. And I got in, so my plan was, I'll just go up a little bit so you don't see see exactly what happened. But my plan was to do, um, so it was either Gordon and Gusto in for Toffolo and Bowen. Or I was going to do something like uh, Luis Diaz in for Bowen and then maybe like Gusto. Um, but then I heard the news that Foden was starting. So I did Foden and Luis and they got me net two points. I had two free transfers. Like, what a travesty that is. Absolute travesty. Like, one of the worst, worst situations in my game week. Fortunately, I do have a green arrow, but I, I've, I've got to suffer the Salah captains tomorrow. So, I, I think I'll probably have a grey arrow. Um, or maybe a little bit of a green arrow. Um, Fleckens just keep, continues to bring it home for me uh, with six points today, which is great. Um, Harlan captain. So... I'm hoping Salah doesn't do much tomorrow, um, and I should be in a good spot. And I've got my free hit. A lot of players don't have their free hit for uh, for 34, so I feel quite good about my odds of trying to get into the top uh, 50k. Um, but yeah, really annoying game week. Um, Ken, do you want to send me your team on Twitter, and I'll bring it up, and we can have a look at it as well. Um, or anyone who's listening uh, or in the chat, etc., just send it over. My handle is at FPL underscore Logan Roy, um, and I will bring it up on screen. Um, let's continue to scroll through here and look at some current news. <laughs> this meme's great. 2020 points now that will make the average man on the street stand up and take notice or we're not totally exclusive blah 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 yeah it's just an average Brit isn't it average Brit on a Saturday night last year when Newcastle FC uh, it was what all the pundits were talking about this year it's 
It's like ABFC don't exist. Why? Because of money, they can't even spend because of financial fair play. Okay, I'm not really sure what that's about. Gradio owners on FPL Twitter right now. Yep. I got Rico Lewis. It was not a good pick in the end, but it was a punt. So you live and you learn. And this game is cruel. We all know that. So you've just got to move on. I don't get upset about FPL nowadays. I don't want to count all the shots he has faced in each game. Yep. Absolutely. Man United are woeful. If you think you're having a bad game week, yeah, look at that, PZ. That is brutal stuff. Isaac Shah on the bench. Let's try and see PZ's team. Okay, does she have... What? Locked in for game week 33. I don't understand how... What? Okay, maybe that's someone else. Okay, that's got to be, yeah, that's got to be someone else. It'd be cool to see their team, though, because they might have some these subs coming in for someone. Yeah, that's brutal. Look at that. He's like shot. You don't, you don't bench Isaac. That's crazy talk. Um, I did bookmark this earlier. So, yeah, now that I'm seeing that a couple of the bookmark tweets are coming up, I'll just go to the bookmarks because we're going to get into the Foden gate um, on the stream tonight. Um, so I'm just going to pull this down. And we'll start from the beginning. As you can see, I bookmarked quite a few. That's Feb 3rd, Jan 30th, April 8th. Here we go. Yep, so we spoke about PZ uh, and whoever this was. That is a real shame. Um, thoughts and prayers for this particular person. That is really harsh. Um, okay, so FPL Tony. I, I, and I'm sure you guys are all aware of this situation that happened today that unfolded this craziness um so i don't know where i stand it's annoying it's annoying that's all i'll say i don't think that i think it's sort of a, a situation where you've got to think you've got to say to yourself you kind of did that to yourself you know like if you're going to if you're going to follow the leaks then you know live by the sword die by the sword type situation um normally they are very reliable and like main road i think also tweeted tony tweeted F, uh, lazy FPL tweeted that Foden was starting so and, and they all do do seem to be quite sincere about it being a last minute change so yeah this is madness like uh, Tony getting death threats is absolutely crazy just like behave yourselves you know like it's a game it's a silly fun nerdy game that we all play that we all enjoy like just enjoy it and be nice to each other you know like people are having meltdowns because they didn't get, you know, phone points for the day. It's just so absurd. So yeah, that's my message to anyone who's listening out there. Um, if you're gonna live by the by the leaks, die by them, and just be nice to each other. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, Gordon absolutely killed it today. Again, he was gonna be one of my guys. Happens every week. It's almost a, just a lame thing to say, isn't it? Oh, it's like oh, I was gonna get Gordon in, but I was very close to getting Gordon in. So. Um, yeah, absolute masterclass. What a player. What a player this guy is. Um, it makes me really excited about England. I just sat back because I'm going to just sort of dwell on this point for a moment. England. Euros. Like, what does that first team look like? And then what kind of danger have we got coming off the bench? Like, does Palmer start? Do you know what I mean? Like, does Palmer start? Does Gordon start on the left? Obviously not, because... We're gonna be, Gareth is gonna pick Saka. Is who's on the left for England at the moment? Saka's on the right, Foden on the left, right? And that's probably gonna happen unless Foden goes through the middle. But just the amount of quality we've got coming off the bench is unreal. Like, if we're struggling in a game, just get Anthony Gordon on. He's so good, He's such a good player. Love him. So yeah, congrats to anyone who did get Gordon today. That is a big win. Uh, leakers might be finished. Yeah, and again, going back to the point earlier, like I think um, there is going to be a lot of hesitation now when folks go for make these decisions based on leaks. Um, I was reading some of the tweets. I reposted a couple. I can't show them on screen because some of them are just like really sweary. I don't want to get told off by YouTube, but um, 
it's just a little bit ridiculous um just just get over yourselves <laughs> you know don't be mad it's all good uh, uh but yeah it's gonna be tough for me like following elite going forward like maybe i just look at the injury look at the press conference information and just go off that going forward i'm not gonna do this anymore that was so lame two free transfers ruined uh, Andy, someone who was correct before about City News, told me phone bench this morning, mentioned it on a stream, but then all the phone start stuff came in. Apparently it was a late change though, so not sure. That's interesting. So Andy actually had someone tell him that Foden was going to be benched, who was correct before about City News. So someone's in the wrong here. Um, I, I don't want to kind of dwell on it too much, but yeah, someone is definitely in the wrong. Uh, I don't know who it is, but um, you know... It's all good. Let's just move on. <laughs> uh, okay, so Zakaria, one of the one of my faves in the community. This is their free hit team. It actually looks bigger when I don't expand it. Um, very similar to mine. Very very similar to mine. You see, that is a banger. Would you have these players over Harland, Ken? Would you play Harland? Is that what you said earlier? Uh, I support Arsenal, Ken. I'm actually an Arsenal season ticket holder. I've got a... Uh, I'm going to the uh, Aston Villa game tomorrow. Please don't tell me you're a Spurs fan, man. Like, let's not start this this absolute uh, uh, legendary alliance that we've got here on a, on a Arsenal-Spurs situation. Um, yeah, let me know who you support as well. Uh, but this is a great team, um, and I am into it. Uh, what do you think of this, Ken? That's pretty. That's pretty good, right? Eight Nori again. We got to keep an eye on that. Trent is Trent back? That is a great team. I'm just gonna reply to stuff as well. Whilst, because you know we're get, we're looking at their tweets. They've got to get some rep. This team. Real Madrid, that's superb. Good stuff, good for you. Um, what team to support? Where are you from? Are you, are you like, where are you from in the world? Are you in England and you support Madrid? Because that's cool. And if so, do you have a like Prem team that you follow a little bit? Uh, and good luck next week. Um, I think that City might just do it. I don't want to be that guy being negative towards your team or anything, but I just think that City uh, Bateman is in the team is in the chat. Yes, Bateman. So good to have you here, man. Um, Bateman, I saw. I tell you what, man. I saw you on a on a YouTube video. I can't remember who it was. There was like a crew who'd got you in for an interview. Um, that, that was great. Yeah, Bateman, this is a new channel. Yeah, that's right. I've started my own solo thing because the other channel was Wildcard FPL with three of my buddies uh, and that kind of dropped off a little bit. So I wanted to continue making content and um, yeah, this is what the spirit of this channel is about. So kind of solo, something my own. And I mentioned earlier on in the, in the, uh, in the stream that my son, who I know that you're aware of my son coming, he is here. He's seven weeks old, and this channel here is really dedicated to him. And here he is on screen. This is Arthur Churchill, my son. <laughs> um, so I wanted to kind of, with him being born into this world, I wanted to start a positive, new, fresh start when it comes to YouTube content and something he can look back on uh, in the future as well. So um, a little bit of sentimentality there for you guys. Um, but yeah, Bateman, as I said, I. Uh, I saw you on a um, YouTube uh, video not so long ago. Um, yeah, what a champ. Yeah, he's going to be a handsome boy. He's starting to like smile and stuff and laugh and it's quite an amazing time. My wife's through there in the other room at the moment and I was like, <laughs> let me have an hour. Let me have an hour. We can chat to the... Um, chat to the, F to the FPL crew. Um, but yeah, it's been wild. Bateman, I think you said, do you have kids? Uh, I think you may have mentioned, referenced it previously. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'll tell you what, what an experience. Like, 
two, three hours sleep a night in some cases. Uh, it is absolutely wild experience. And also you just can't plan for anything. Like we keep joking about it. Like there's no point in planning for anything. You've just got to like strap in and be like, what's going to happen next? You know, uh, we had to go to the hospital a couple of times. There were some complications here and there. Um, so it's just been, it's just been pretty rough. I have to just, whilst I'm, we're on the subject, I have to shout out the NHS, like unreal. I lived in the States for seven years. I was in New York and I fortunately had like a very a good job um, where healthcare came with the job and all that stuff. You take that stuff for granted. Like there is her out there when it comes to like healthcare and stuff. So when we came back in April last year, wife was then pregnant and it's like, okay, we're gonna go through this through the NHS system. And I just have to say like, it was unreal. Like they're so good. We need to do a donation for them actually, but um, yeah, so Bateman, you know, right? Like, it's just an absolutely wild scene. Um, oh, yeah, uh, Ken, I think you mentioned you were from Malaysia. And um, was it you who runs the bar? Were you running... Is it you who runs a bar in Malaysia? Is that right? Memory is kind of coming back to me on that, perhaps. Um, but anyway, I digress. Let's get into some more FPL content. Uh, Bateman, send, me, send us your... You're, did you free hit 29 at the end? Or I remember you were talking about it many, many months ago. But uh, let us know what you're doing in terms of free hit. Um, so whose was this again? Oh, yeah, Zakaria. Zakaria's free hit team is pretty good. It's got to be said. I'm into it. I'm into that. Um, so let's keep talking, guys, about what the plan is free hits. Ken, I'm going to be hitting you up for some for some advice on that. Uh, yeah, the leak was wrong. Okay, free at 34 for Bateman. Great. Okay, cool. We're all in the same boat. Um, I don't want to hit that just yet because I'm going to come away from the bookmarks. I think we should move on from the leak stuff. That was absolutely wild earlier, though. Like, don't get annoyed about the leaks. Yeah, I've got Son in my team. Again, this is going back to the state that was today in this awful game week I had two free transfers I've got Son my two free transfer Bateman check this out okay I was going to get in Diaz and Gusto for my two punts for the week because I'm free hitting in 34 so I was ha I woke up this morning I was like that's the plan went on to Raptors uh, live show and then he started talking about the leaks and that Foden's starting and, I, and I, I actually got Rico Lewis in before I heard that he was going to be starting because I thought that would be a good shout. But anyway, I netted two points from Phone and Rico Lewis, my two free transfers. Like, I, I'm I, I'm old enough now where I'm not going to get annoyed about that stuff. Like, if I was, if it was 20 years ago, you know, I'd be like, I'd be really upset. <laughs> I'd be really upset about today. Uh, but I'm currently on a on a on a uh, green arrow, so I just got to survive the Salah captains tomorrow. Yeah, they do. Uh, they do react badly. I and Bateman's 1.2k overall rank. Unreal, mate. That is unreal. You love to see it. Uh, yeah, Ken's the one running the bar. I remember. Okay, cool. This is great. Good stuff. Um. So, did you? Bateman, you got it. It sounds like you also did Foden. What a ridiculous day today was. Like, you can't make that up. It's another element to like FPL. Like, it's all already absolutely insane this game that we play. But like, the leak stuff is just. I mean, it's just so much drama. But yeah, I did retweet um, someone's reply. I'm not sure if you saw. It. I can't bring it up on screen because it's really bad. Uh, there's a couple of C bombs in there and stuff. But. Um, yeah, people are just so upset. And they're just like, Tony was talking about like death threats. He was getting death threats today. I just behave yourselves. It's absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, so anyway, Son, I do have Son. Um, I need to get rid of him. He came off for 60 minutes. He's their captain. Um, things are not well at Spurs. Uh, so that's another one. I was actually at one point going to do Son and Bowen out today for, I think it was uh, Diaz, someone else, can't quite remember. Um, but I, I, I decided to keep Son. 
but I got to start listening to my gut a bit more when it comes to these decisions because I was very bullish on getting rid of Son at the beginning of the day. Kept Son hoping for a phone rest, which happened, but made no difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. One pointer from Son today. It's terrible. Um, Gvardio, yeah, he did come up. He did cross my mind. I, I think I was forced to do um, Lewis because of his price point. I couldn't afford Gvardio. Um, so that's, like, that's pretty annoying. Um, anyone else who owns these two? Yeah, Gordon and Isaac. Absolutely killed it. I said there was someone I was messaging earlier and I said to them, I'm annoyed I haven't got any Newcastle assets. And that was at like, I think 10 a.m. this morning. Um, and I, I've had Gordon for a lot of the season as well. So I'm very, again, I don't get annoyed with this stuff nowadays. You just kind of laugh at it. It's actually like, I just think that's perfect FPL narrative, isn't it? When these things go wrong. But um, yeah, it's super frustrating when you have a player for most of the season and you get rid of him for whatever reason and then he absolutely slaps happened to me with i keep talking about all the ollie watkins situation at the beginning of the season i don't know if you guys remember that or not but i got rid of ollie watkins and he scored two goals and got a got a hat trick of assists or something against brighton i think it was terrible um but yeah i mean props to anyone who's got these two so joe is back that's cool he's taking a bit of a break but it looks like he's coming to some good some good pointage if you will Pointage word. Okay, newsletter. Here we go. I don't want to dwell on the leak stuff, but it sounds like a late change based on other sources, but honestly, we don't know yet. Apologies to anyone who acted on the info. So let's just have a quick look at some of these replies. Yeah, look, so FPL mate. Yeah, FPL mate. It's always he's always got the right sort of the right vibe about him, FPL mate, in my opinion. Thanks for sharing. I just want to make sure I'm not gonna sort of bring up some awful tweets from someone yeah like people are very are very nice about it entirely not your fault it's all right leaks are leaks and it's just every now and again you come across some absolute idiot who's just like you ruined my weekend or something never listening to you again look at that <laughs> jack oh lord thanks for sharing yeah Anyway, we have we have dissected the leak gate, Foden leak gate. Yeah, I totally agree. It's all luck. Played Son and Werner, benched Burn. Oh, oh, that is rough. That is rough. Um, anyone? Uh, sorry. Uh, thanks for anyone who's listening in, who's come to the live show tonight. Got to keep an eye on the time because. I have an allotted hour before I need to go and help out with my with my family, <laughs> my newborn son. Um, uh, if you are kind of listening to this and you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Bateman, I don't think you have subscribed yet. Please do, mate. That'd be great. Uh, we are starting from scratch here and I'm currently on 15 subscribers. It's not about subscribers. It's not about that. It's really just about like having a good time and just kind of like hanging out with, with you guys um, and building something. But obviously to do that, the, the subscribes help. So please do. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, Flair, FPL Flair. I know you're going to concede four, get a yellow card and end up on minus one. Yeah, I think he did end up on a minus one. Or Romero definitely got a minus one. Um, we can actually bring it up, I think. Let me see if I can bring this up. Okay, so if we go... And by the way, I'm self-taught with all this stuff so just bear with me while i navigate all these different windows and stuff um so if i want to see romero select replacement okay i think this is going to work all right let's i oh know we wanted to check poro didn't we history newcastle point zero yeah, people have got Udoggy as well. Like he got an awful score. Um, a, 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 there's a select, there's a um, small amount of managers who have got either Udoggy or Poro. I think. Um, I mean, we can check the. Um, we should be able to see. There we go. 
18.9 owned. So yeah, the, I mean, a fair amount of managers do have these types of players and yeah, I got rid of them. I got rid of my Poro asset a couple of months ago now. And it's just eye test stuff really. Like they just don't appear to be doing that well. Um, Poro did score, I think last week though, or last game week. But um, yeah, they've been poor. Spurs are very poor. We, we've we already covered that. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a tough time at the moment for, for Spurs and I'm definitely not going to be investing in that team for a while. I'm getting rid of Son. I'm done. I am done. Um, is is Big Ange out of his league? That's the question. He can't have been happy with today. I bet they got an absolute telling off today, those guys. How can you trust a leak five hours before kickoff? Yes, exactly. Zakaria, always talking sense. Okay, and then... There's a couple more leak stuff because I did bookmark them. So our source has now been incorrect twice in two years. Due to the nature of messages we are receiving, again, the death threats and stuff, we are torn on whether we should continue to share the info so you can decide. Yes, risk is worth it. No, risk isn't worth it. <laughs> this is so absurd. 10,000 votes. People take this game very seriously. Son, one pointer. We covered that. Very disappointing. Not happy. FPL Twitter getting ready for another week of lineup leak discourse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a fun day. I love this stuff. Okay, hear me out. This could be true. What if Pep now knows that lineups are being leaked and deliberately and deliberate? Uh, uh, wait. What if Pep now knows that lineups are being leaked and he has started to roll out fake lineup to the sources so he could fool us FPL managers? I love it. I love this. And obviously it's a joke. But um, yeah, <laughs> imagine. Look at his face. Imagine if that's what was happening. <laughs> it was so funny. I want to know if these guys know about FPL. Like, I said it before, and you guys might have been on a stream that I did a few months ago. There needs to be like an FPL representative in press conferences to ask these questions and just like you know are you aware of FPL like do you know that your decisions have significant consequences for these people who take this game very seriously um I think it's a good move and I think it will move it will start moving towards that you start seeing FPL points against players at the um like on Sky and stuff and Sky have now got an FPL section haven't they so we should start seeing stuff like that soon I think I'm not built for FPL. I don't know what the context is here, but I just saw it and I was like, that's so FPL. The only reason I didn't have Shah is because I was down 0.2 mil. Yeah, I'm in a position to pick between Shah and Poro. Guess who I chose? <laughs> oh gosh, look at that. I'm not built for FPL. Thoughts, thoughts and prayers. Can we get a little, there we go, that's what I want. Gvardiol energy, we saw this earlier, absolutely. Vadiol, what a guy. Um, what else we got? Yeah, Andre and Anio, we saw this earlier. Man, Man United are not great. If we trust the process for much longer, it'll be bottom half finish. Yeah, Man United are in a lot of trouble. Um, let's have a look at the table. That'll be fun. Can we do that? I'm breaking new ground here, guys. I've never gone onto the PL site. Tables. Boom. Okay, I don't know why it looks like that. <laughs> what is going on there? Let's not do that. Let's go back to fantasy. 
Nope. Okay. We can't look at the table on this stream, unfortunately. All right, let's go back into some tweets. Oh yeah, Man United are in trouble, that's for sure. I don't think they'll make any European spots. Thoughts with those uh, thoughts with those FPL managers who are planning two slash three United assets on wildcard 35. Who, who would do that? Who's doing that? I don't know who in their right mind would be doing two, three United assets at this point. I mean, Bruno Fernandes isn't actually a bad shout. I think he scored three, is it three goals in the last few? Um, but I'm not getting him. Haaland has missed 30 big chances this season. That's six more than Nunes. I'm not sure Haaland gets criticised enough for being wasteful, especially compared to Nunes. Yeah, he's been really poor. And he's like, I really like Haaland. I was so excited about him coming to the Prem. Um, I'm not a City fan like whatsoever, uh, obviously. But like, I was excited for the Premier League to have a player like that. And last season was nuts. But I don't, don't know what's wrong with him. Like, Maybe he's like met a girl or something, you know? <laughs> Bateman, here you are, my friend. Always. Always with the tweets, Real Madrid directs on the phone to their bank chatting about how much they got from Manchester United for Casemiro and Varane. Yeah, absolutely. Was Casemiro 50 mil? He looks like a 45-year-old, like, limping around a pitch. He keeps doing these, like, rash chat challenges as well. It's quite interesting. Um, and then Marston, obviously, clearest penalty I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that wasn't a penalty. Neither of them were penalties. I, I don't know if you guys saw that, but, it, like, the ball just hit the guy's arm, like... That's really harsh. Really, really harsh. All right, I got some notifications. Let's have a look. Okay, so Ken sent his current game week team. Okay, looks like you've got you've had a little bit of pain as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So we've got very similar teams actually. Teams, very similar team. Wait, that was the right verbiage. What am I talking about? This is decent, mate. You've had a good, you've had a good run in here. Um, Region, yeah, nice. Son, unfortunately, same as he's. I got Solanke, Lewis. That was so annoying. Live rank one six seven. Is your plan to get to top one hundred, Ken? What's your kind of goal for the season? Um, and that's not bad, is it? Not a bad game week so far. We've all got a kind of figure out what's going to happen tomorrow with Salah. Um, I have Havertz and there's talk of him being dropped. Casemiro was 60 million. Yeah, it's nuts, isn't it? Is it nuts? Like, he was good for last year. Really good last year. But I don't know what's happened to him. Like, again, maybe he's met a girl. <laughs> or, uh, I think Goldbridge. I watch some Goldbridge stuff every now and again and I think he said it quite well where he was like, he's just ready to go to Saudi Arabia. Um, he just dropped off massively. Um, maybe he's been eating a few pies, you know. He's in. He's living up in Manchester, eating some pies. Oh no, greatness! Just replied with a sad face. Ken's aiming for top 100k. Nice one. Yeah, you should get that right because if you think about free hit, free hit uh, 34, lots of managers won't have that. And then you also have wild card as well, right? So um, my plan is to do, and again, the Ken, this is kind of thanks to you a little bit for your advice. Um, my plan is to do free hit 34 and then I was thinking wild card 35. So that's why this, this game week was supposed to be quite punty. Like I was looking for two really good punts for this game week, free hit, then wild card. Um, it's just turned into a bit of a disaster really. But again, like I'm currently on a green arrow because of Solanke and Flecken. Um, but we shall see. Uh, yeah, but I'm excited. And then what are you guys thinking in terms of um, bench boost? Um, Ken, I think you had told me your strategy was going to be... Just bring it, up on, bring it up on my messages. So yeah, bench boost 37. Right, so if you're doing... It looks like you're doing uh, game week 35... Free at 34, bench boost 37. Makes sense. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a similar similar thing there. Um, I'm excited about it. And I really feel like I can get into the top 50k. I, I'm, I've got that as my target. So I, I currently like 65k. So um, yeah, that would be a good season for me. That would be my best finish. And then 
I'm so ready to start afresh next year. Can't wait. I already can't wait for next season. Um, and we're really close to the end, which is, uh, it's been quite a season, isn't it? Like, really exciting stuff. Um, the title race is nuts. Um, I'd love to bring up the, you know what I'll do? I'll just bring up the table on my other screen here. Yeah, so Man City, you know what I'll do? I'm just gonna, on the fly here, try and put this into a new scene on OBS. All right, let's have a look. <clears throat> All right, bear with me guys. This is just, I'm doing a little bit of uh, tweaking here. On the fly, on the fly tweaking. I'm going to try and bring on the Premier League table. Boom. And we'll get rid of that. And if you guys have used OBS or anything, but it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Um, okay, so top ten Prem is on screen right now we should be um that's crazy look at that so man city what they on 73 points goal difference isn't good as arsenal's i think liverpool i don't think liverpool have got the minerals if i'm being honest i don't know what you guys think about that but it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like liverpool have got this in my opinion I think it's going to be Arsenal or Man City. I mean, tomorrow's going to be a massive game for Arsenal. Um, they have the goal difference, so really they should be feeling positive, but I don't know, are they bottlers? We'll see. But very exciting. Only a few more games to go. What is it, six more games to go for a couple of teams? Um, I am very excited about this finish to the season. But also, like, I don't know about you guys, but I am looking forward to just like a little bit of a break from FPL like it's all I always do welcome it for like a week or two weeks and then my camera's just gone blurry and then uh, um, and then I'm like give it to me again um, so yeah I was thinking about doing would you guys be up for doing a, um, a Euros uh, fantasy league because if you're if you're up for it I'll do that we can get one set up but lots of people do just like to have a break from it and just kind of enjoy the Euros um, or the World Cup, I think it was last time. Um, yeah, okay, so let's have a look, quick look at the chat. So Bateman's doing free hit 34, bench boost 37, aiming for a top 1K finish. Yeah, that's nuts. I mean, that's great, man. Like, I, I feel like I feel good for you for doing I think you will get that, given that lo lots of people have already free hitted. Um, <laughs> need a break so I can speak to my wife. Yeah, I was thinking about like it'd be cool to get a couple of our wives just on it on a stream, um, and just like have it like discuss with them FPL. But I mean, if you'd be up for that, mate, like have a chat to your wife and ask her if she'd be up for coming onto a stream with my wife and just being like, let's talk about this crazy game that our husbands play. <laughs> It'd be so funny, um, but. Elaine, my wife, has started to, like, ask me on Prem days. She's like, oh, do you have him? Or, like, oh, is that good for you if someone scores? Um, which is pretty cool. Um, I've not act activated my free hit yet, no. Um, I, I haven't done that. I, I think I probably should, shouldn't I? I, I did look at it earlier, actually. I, I, I will do that, actually, tonight. I'll look at some price, ri price rises, that makes sense. Um... I'm really like that on weekends. <laughs> yeah. I had to, I didn't have to plead tonight for this, but I did have, to, like, I made, I always make supper. Like, that's my thing. You know, I, I do a lot of stuff. Like, I do the washing for the kid at the moment, you know, all his baby clothes and stuff like that. So I am helping a lot. But, like, tonight I was like, I just, just one hour, please. One hour. And she was like, yeah, it's all good. And if he's, he's quite a loud crier. 
So like, I'll be able to hear him if he is going mental. And I would probably, at some point in the future, I might just have to like stop a stream or something if he's going absolutely crazy. Um, but uh, there's one funny thing I've got to tell you uh, about my son, Arthur. Um, so he he's massive. He's, he was 8.8 .8 pounds and he's growing massive. Like all of his clothes. So he's seven weeks old and he's already in like three month, year, three month old baby clothes. So he's a big, big kid. He's going to be a big kid. I'm quite big. Like I'm 6'2 and I'm a bit stocky, you know, like I think he'll probably be like similar. Um, so uh, when, after he feeds, he like he likes to sleep so what i'm doing is i take him from my wife after a feed and i put him on my shoulder and i pat his back and i sing the bobby Firmino song liverpool which is an incredible chant like again i'm not like a liverpool fan but i just i love football chants like they're one of my passions like i love football chants i if i hear a chant i go onto google i try and find the lyrics um you know that whole thing of like west ham going uh what do they say it's um West Ham are massive everywhere we go and then it's like West Ham get battered everywhere they go like that's incredible narrative um, I love all that so um, yeah the Bobby Firmino song so I just pat him and I sing there's something that the cop wants you to know best in the world is Bobby Firmino and he goes to sleep within like 30 seconds a minute two minutes he's asleep and he, that's how we've been getting him to sleep for the past seven weeks so will my son be a Liverpool fan by proxy? Perhaps. I wouldn't have a problem with it. It's all good. He can support who he wants. Um, but yeah, it's just funny. Just the Bobby Firmino song just works. It's a nice little ditty. It's repetitive. But I have sang that song, I think, probably about a thousand times in the last seven weeks. No joke. That might be a bit, bit of an exaggeration. Um, but yeah, I just, I digress. I digress. I just went on a complete tangent. Um, let's go back into Twitter. And uh, yeah, again, thanks. Thanks, everyone, uh, for being here um, on the stream. It's really great to have this channel going. I don't know whether or not I should rename myself AlfPL and get rid of the Logan Roy stuff. don't know what your guys' thoughts on that are, but... A little bit of a rebrand is happening at the moment. Um, so let's got a couple of more minutes, five minutes or so, before I've got to head off and see my amazing family. Um, so let's just hit some, find some current news. Now begins a week of tinkering. Yes, indeed. Another free hit team. We save those. I'm going to save all the free hit teams. We might see a few. Here we go. What's this? It's been a standout display from this asset so far. Game of Thrones three. None with six assets to their name. I don't understand. I mean, people get it. I don't get that. I do not get that tweet. <laughs> Feel logic. End of the season already. I tap out. Three point two mil. Oh my gosh, that is rough. What's happened here? Oh, he captains Tony and he vice captained Rico Lewis. Guys, look at this team. Look at this team. I mean, he's got Flecken. That captaincy shout is awful, isn't it? Bless him. That is pretty horrendous. Wow. So yeah, like when I have a bad week, I just always think it could be worse. That's the way I handle it mentally. Um, so many zeros and ones. My FPL team speaking in binary. Let's have a look at his FPL team. I don't think he's posted it. Um, but yeah, uh, so I think we'll call it. Um, Ken, I want to say thank you, my friend, for moderating this evening. Um, it's so good to have you on board. 
Uh, Bateman, you also moderated for me a, a few months ago. So th thank you guys for the support. It really is helpful. I am starting from scratch, right? Like, uh, so to have your guys' support is really appreciated. Thank you again. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try and do these as much as I can. I think it's going to be very much like sort of asking my wife if, if, if I'm allowed to, and when I'm allowed to. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll make sure that I'm active across Twitter, letting everyone know when I am going to be going live, and mostly after match days. I'd love to go live tomorrow night. Um, so, oh wait, Bateman's just done his latest. Let's have a look at the... Before we go, let's have a look at Bateman's free hit team. Okay. Oh yeah, I liked this earlier, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Ken, a fun stream, absolutely, man. And if if you fancy it, if you fancy moderating again in the future, it would be great to have you on board for doing that. Um, so thank you. Um, I think we'll make a good little team. Good to have you from Malaysia. I hope the par the bar's going well. Um, and perhaps at some point we can get you on the stream if you fancy doing like a little interview or something, a little two man show. We can definitely make that happen. This really is just like a fully flexible format. Like we can go lots of different ways with it, with kind of Twitter being the basis. Um, so uh, yeah, great to have you on board. Um, this is a cool team. Yeah, Raya, love it. Yeah. Yeah. So I my action plan after this is to hit my free hit button, which I'll do. Um, and my team will look similar to the one that I posted a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, it'll be cool to kind of stay in touch with you guys on this as we work towards the free hit team. Um, so yeah, this is great stuff. All right, uh, we're on the hour, so I've got to bounce. But guys, so good to have everyone on board. Again, thank you for joining. Thank you for the support. It's really appreciated. Uh, 